Hello everyone, it's Stacy with Crafty Dragon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. We are on episode 9, I believe, of the lap book. It's going to be cutting it close getting this done, I think, um, before April. I think I have one, just this one more kind of big project I want to do. And then the rest will just be finishing up touches and decorating and maybe finding something for the cover here and then we'll do a final flip through so I'm excited okay so what I want to do today is um I want to put something here and I want it to be kind of bulky but kind of not let me show you See, I have room to put something there. And then this, because this is kind of flip floppy. So, I want to put something here. And I'm thinking just on the one side. I'm hoping anyway. I can always put like just some pockets or something there. But for here, I want to make something like this. This is kind of a prototype I made. And, uh,. We'll see how it goes, but it's gonna gonna go in here like this, and then it'll open up, and then we'll have these pockets in here, um, and then I put like a window on this one, and I thought to do that after I had this all together, so I was kind of kind of tough. So I'm gonna do this and put the pocket or the window on before I put it all together and I might add a third pocket I think I think that'll be okay so it's gonna be kind of like this that we made um, but going this way so and this I will definitely use somewhere else but I was just kind of messing around and wanted to see how it should be done in my head before I start making you guys watch me go through all that okay so this is the paper I'm going to use I got this out of a um, some scrapbook paper it's pretty thick so it'll work the other side I just stenciled and inked because it will be seen quite a bit um, so I may do more I may even cover it up I don't know but I wanted something on there before I started to put this together all right, so I'm going to use this as a template because I thought I would be using this to make this, but I decided I wanted something other than the manila folder. So, um, although I did like the manila folder because it already had these score marks, but that's okay. I can... I can make them and it'll be just fine. So, let me get my scoreboard. So we're going to need that. And let me get my trimmer. Because so we're going to need that. Now this is I think it's five and a quarter. Yeah, about five and a quarter wide. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece. That's five and a quarter. I'm just going to kind of double check here. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to need two of those one for the front, one for the back. We have five and a quarter. Okay, and this can be used, so I'm not going to throw that away. Okay, so if I want to put three pockets, get my prototype back here. I have... Two folds, 
two, three, four. I need five folds on the bottom. So I'm going to go, I'm going to have to connect these together. Okay, so I'm going to do a score at a half an inch. And that's going to be where I'm going to glue it to this one. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I went five lines. One, two, three, four, five. So I actually have six score lines. But at first I went half an inch and then I went every quarter inch. So let me see if that's going to be enough. So I'll need, this is going to be the inside, one, two, three, I think I better do, so if I have this glued on here is the back. Okay, I'm going to do one more, one more quarter inch. Sorry. <laughs> I'll get it. Don't worry. We'll, we'll get it. And this is being fold like accordions, folded accordion style. So we'll have one, two, I don't know why I have such a hard time with these things. Right? Okay, so there's, I have my one, two, three. And I need those to put my pages on. This is going to be glued. Might need to go the other way. Actually, nope. I need to make one more score line. <laughs> do that but okay yeah I didn't want you guys to have to watch me struggle this is all I'm doing is struggling get this more more where it needs to be here Ugh. okay all right let's get this glued let it get to drying so we can Come 
Come on. How many of you have done this and poop, poked yourself? <laughs> I do it all the time. Okay. I probably shouldn't do this on my scoreboard, huh? I sure did. I did that on the wrong side. Let's try this again. Okay. Let that dry, and we'll we'll figure out figure out all that in a minute. Okay. So let me move on to the pockets. And I don't know that I'm gonna have a <laughs> paper now that I think about it. Um, okay, so these are about that tall. So we're going to go with this. I may have to use different papers in here. Or go with the file folder. Because I didn't think about needing to use. I'm going to need six. Well, that is not straight. Or my line wasn't straight. I don't think my line that I drew was straight. I can always do different different pockets. They don't all have to be the same, right? Okay, so this is going to be one pocket. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I need to find more paper. Hold on. All right, I forgot I have these still. So let's use these. So we can use that'd be cool. And Another one of those. All right, I don't want to use that. Okay. So I have this one, which I think will be my middle one. And then we can use Thank you. 
maybe these two and maybe these two okay so these need to be trimmed to this size Yep, this is how I measure. <laughs> I'm pretty good at like basic math, but then when you get into fractions and measurements and algebra, my mind says no, no, no. Nope, not going to do it. Okay, so let me see that these are all, wow, okay, totally, oh, wait, I'm even bad <laughs> at measuring the way I was just doing it. That's fine though, we're gonna, we're gonna go with this. Okay, so I know that I want each one of these to have a window. So, if I have a window here, this is showing, and then this is going to show on the inside. So I like, I like that. Or we can have it this way. I think we'll do this way. So that'll be a window. This one you can have this showing on the inside. And maybe we'll trim around that. And then this one will go this way. Still can't believe how off that is. I mean, I guess I could trim all the others. Alright. Let's see how this is doing. So that... I know if I have my... So there's my one... Two... my three folds okay so I didn't even need those all right so that'll be showing on the inside I want that or do I want this showing on the inside? And yeah, we'll do that one. Okay. So I need to make sure these are pretty much the same. Oh, see, that's just a little bit bigger. That's okay. I'm going to have to trim all these down. Here's what we're going to do. Those to hold. Get my crap. 
craft knife. That's straight. go and I'm gonna do this afterwards because I had to do that on on my prototype as well okay and rather than lining it up down here I'm gonna line it up on the sides I know those are straight, or at least I hope they are. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do a little bit of glue. Or kind of a lot of glue. And I'm going to push this over on there. Make sure that is even okay we're gonna hold this for just a minute okay oh I didn't put my window dang it okay well let me let me do that first because Okay, so this is uh, a template that I used on my other one. So I'm going to use it for this one as well. Alright, I'm going to go right there. Actually, let me come down just a little bit because I'm going to want room to punch a hole there. Let me erase my pencil marks. Okay, now I'm going to put my um, acetate in. This is actually from like one of those page protectors, so it's pretty thick, but you could use just regular acetate, of course. All right, and let's see, I'm going to use my Barely Arts. I don't want it to squish through, so try to be careful as to how close to the edge I put this, except for this down here. I 
I am going to do a little extra care on the corners and the edge of at least the top so that when you put things in there, hopefully it won't catch. Hopefully that holds. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put this one on. And that is how it's going to look. Okay, that is a little bit taller, but I will trim trim that down. Okay, now, let me do my other windows before I continue. All right, now let's put these in and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> So now what I need to do is um, put these together and I think I might just use, those aren't going to be tall enough. <clears throat> Let's see, I might have enough. Okay, so I'm going to make one inch strips. And I'll need two, four, six. So let's see. And then I'm just going to use this to score. I'm going to score them each at a half inch. So just right in half. going to be glued in between here like so to make the little pocket And what I'm doing is I'm going to open this 
I'm going to do these back sides first. And then we can put the front sides down. So I need this side glued. now so here are our pockets there's the front so this what I'm going to do now is make a flap and kind of decide where I want to cut it don't really need it to be that maybe right there that will go like so. I'm not really gonna push down too hard on that. So I don't really want to crease it because I want it to be able to you know expand if needed. But I do want to round the corners. So let me get that little contraption I'm going to do the big one there's our our pockets how fun and I'll put something here to cover up all that mess and let's see I think I'll have enough room to do the corners on this. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, good enough, good enough. Now, what type of closure do we want? Probably, I think actually what I'll do is I will Some of this black, like stretchy stuff. I think maybe instead of the whole wraparound thing, I might do an eyelet here. So 
let's see. Let's do the big one. And let's do this bronzy colored one. snippet of this and make a little knot and put it through here and loop it like so. I may need to make that a little smaller. Um, let me find something to loop it around. Hold on. Put that away. Okay, let's take um, something pretty contrasting. Oh, how about this? Cut a few circles so they're nice and thick. Put these together. ink and that can go on there so we get a bread <clears throat> just get a little beady one do that same bronzy color Little tiny hole punch. Let's see if I can get this in the center. <laughs> mm, not quite in the center, but. It'll be all right. <clears throat> and then we want that to pull kind of tight. Let's see. Let me put this back on. There we go. <laughs> Cute. And I will probably decorate this some more. But let me see real quick how it looks. Cool. Very nice. Yeah, and that kind of holds that open. 
close this here. So that's how it will look. Yay! All right, I'm going to um, let's see. Let me ink around this before I glue it down. I may have to glue that. I don't know that that's going to stay stay very well. It's already wanting to come out. Okay, I'll have to have to figure something out there. Okay. Also, I need to do something with the with this. So I'm gonna take a piece of tape, put it over that. Okay, and then I think I'll put a pocket, kind of a tall one, or we could do a belly band. I think a pocket would be better though. And then we could put something down inside there. I feel like that's just a tad. Tad too long. Ah. Need a new blade. I'm just going to cut off a little bit more here and get that, that ugly off of there. And then I'll cut this in. Very straight. All right, let me ink around this some more. Okay. I think that will be fine. Oh, let me put a little notch in here. Gosh, that is not straight at all. Okay. And then if something gets put in here, that's that's kind of tight so that oops, things won't fall out unless the glue comes unglued. <laughs> Alright, now I need to figure out how to keep this thing on. Let's see, 
if I can put some glue there. Okay, I'll let that dry before I play with that. All right, so let's go ahead and glue it on. And I could even, of course, make a pocket back there, which I think I'll do, but you know, obviously the user doesn't have to use that as, as such. So I think I just went too high. put some stuff in there and still have room to bulk it up a little bit all right guys that is it for this one um i think i will do all the final decorating and everything and then um we'll come back and we'll do a flip through and we will be finished with her i'm kind of sad <laughs> but also excited so I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have enjoyed making this. Um, please hit that subscribe button so you will won't miss the, uh, the flip through when I get that. And um, yeah, stay tuned because April is going to be fun with the um, A Fairy Spring Collab 24 that's coming up. And um, I think, I think that's it. Alright guys, until next time. Bye-bye.